hello folks, I'm Daniel Nobre. Welcome. I was studying what is going to be my next subject of the new special when I make my comments about Criterion Films. And of course, as you see behind me, my collection, there's many more in the back in there. It's hard to choose one film, but finally, a movie from 1966 that just got upgraded to Blu-ray, and I don't have a Blu-ray edition, matter of fact, I watch it in DVD, the classic edition of uh, this movie from 1966, directed by Robert Bresson and Al Hazard Balthazar. As you see here is a story of this little donkey right here and the relationship with this girl, Marie, and also throughout different ownership. If you haven't seen the film, I invite you to relax, sit down for a few minutes, and we're gonna be talking about this film. Because this is Cinemin. My name is Daniel Nobri, I'm your host, and this is Cinemin, the channel for the fans of the Criterion Collection, international films, art films, and American classics. Please enjoy the channel. The design cover of the film is the same for the Blu-ray, is by Sarah Habibi. In the insert, that is a fantastic essay by critic James Quandt, but I recommend that you only read after watching the film if you haven't seen the film, because it gives away lots of what's going on in the story. There's two fantastic supplements, the interview with movie critic Donald Ritchie about the film and don't miss the 1966 French television special supplementing here, featuring several important directors and artists talking about the importance of Al Hazar Balthazar, as well a fantastic interview with the director himself. Ce titre vient premièrement de ce que je voulais donner à mon âme un nom biblique. Et je vais donc donner le nom d'un des hommages. Mais le titre lui-même vient Euh, de la devise du, des contes des beaux qui se disait descendant du hommage Balthazar et qui était au hasard Balthazar. J'aime beaucoup la rime dans le titre et j'aime aussi que ce titre colle exactement à mon sujet. When I read about the movie, that is just a story of a lifespan of a little donkey and through all the eyes of a girl and the, the inhabitants of a uh, rural area of south, I, I imagine south of France, um, that didn't bring me much excitement to watch the film. However, because uh, as the movie became available in Blu-ray again, I decided to go ahead and give it a try because I have the film as you've seen there on the classic DVD format from the Criterion Collection. And uh, I was surprised enough to be and found myself mesmerized with the simplicity, the scenes, the beauty of this film and how important this film is in cinema itself. I haven't heard no much about mentions of director Robert Branson's style. I know and I learned that his uh, very minimalist style, which I appreciate very much that kind of style, because I think you don't need fancy stories and special effects to tell a great story. You just need talent. I never seen nothing so meaningful. They speaks not directly with me as an audience, but it speaks inside me as a human being like this movie. And I think the impression is pretty much, is uh, I have good people on my side, including famous directors in the interview and the supplements you see when they talk about the power of this film in their lives is really, really different. We see characters in the film. Marie is the main character and the storyline, the art. There's two story running parallel, the donkey story and Marie's story and the other villagers by consequences and the interaction and reactions between themselves and how that reaction reflects on the donkey's life somehow because the donkey is going to be owned throughout the film to different people but always with the same group of people basically speaking and the contact with Marie they're not necessarily on the donkey but is always in contact 
with the animal throughout the movie. You see that unless at the very last scenes that she basically, her character, will not be seen anymore and we don't know exactly what happens to her. We only can wonder, but the movie is the point of view of the donkey, when the, what the donkey sees and is present to tell us the information that we gather. And from that information, the movie is based and is just brilliant because it speaks louder than words about life itself. It's hard to explain the impact of the movie. It's just a beautiful thing that I see and uh, not being preachy about it. I don't like to be preachy or religious about it. He criticized religion a great deal, matter of fact. The director was also very famous for his choice of non-professional actors to work with it. Throughout the movie, we understand that um, importance of doing that because he can get a pure, genuine performance without being overreacting, which perhaps will be the case in certain cases for certain famous actors. Actress Anne Vyabzinski deserves note right here for her correct and very interesting portrait of Marie. She translated the character with very few words, only gesture, looks, walks, and things like that that enhances the experience of the character. Also, I must highlight the bad boy right here, the handsome French actor, Françoise Lafarge, that portrays the bad guy right here called Gerard. He's just fantastic. But then again, all the entire cast of the villagers are very good as well in their own respective parts. And to conclude with this presentation, I gonna quote Marguerite Duras back in 1966 on her opinion about the film. What had previously only been expressed through poetry and literature, Bresson has expressed through cinema. And now at the end, I must thank you all for watching, invite you to become a member of the channel if you're not a member, and I must thank you all members of this channel that keeps growing. Thank you very much, you guys are very, very important to me. I mean it. And don't forget to leave your likes in there. I will appreciate you doing that. If you're watching me on Instagram, I invite you to take a look at my YouTube channel. And now I opening my formal website when I start writing reviews as well. And you can visit me in there as well. I'm gonna leave the link for you guys at the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments, if you will, and your likes as well. I see you guys on the next Cinemin. Goodbye.